We suspend any drivers who intentionally crash others on the racetrack. That's been that's been the way it's been at the car store for years. I've had drivers of my own suspended. And if you fight in the pits, you won't be back. You know, there'll be a suspension depending upon the severity of the situation. It could be a long one. There's a lot of emotions and, and you know, I think as, as you look at, you want that passion and you want that emotion, but there is a line that, that you can cross as, as we've had to officiate a little bit this year, unfortunately. When we had a situation like that at Tri-County, Kip and everyone took their time to really look at everything they had as far as evidence to say this person deserves this and this person deserves this and everyone I feel like ended up being accountable to what their actions were. The biggest thing we need to do is find those two policemen from Tri-County that uh, were so good at uh, the, the, the keeping everybody separated. I didn't, I didn't see too many of those uh, um, uh, policemen walking around the, around the pits this week. Now everything I saw at the Thanksgiving Classic it might be impossible to determine um, severity but there was because there were so many bodies there but um, they needed a little security to help them with that situation and of course uh, we've learned that ourselves right we had our issues at Tri-County and luckily we had a couple security guys there to help us keep it from getting out of hand. Fighting being the first thing that you go to is, is definitely not something that, that sends a great message and, and so it's a it's a real balance between uh, the, the right and wrong of that but um, you want to keep it as you want to keep it as, as um, peaceful as possible in the pits, but you got to know that the emotions are going to run high sometimes.